The Agriculture Innovation Mission for Climate, or AIM for Climate, is a collaboration between governments and organizations who have pledged to support innovations in agriculture and revolutionize our food systems, ambitions that cannot be achieved without tech. Among the announcements at AIM for Climate's meeting here at Dubai Expo was the launch of the IBM Sustainability Accelerator, a social impact program that promises to apply IBM technologies to enhance and scale organizations dedicated to supporting populations vulnerable to the impact of climate change. I spoke to IBM's Global Head of Corporate Social Responsibility, Justina nixon Saintel. The IBM Sustainability Accelerator has just been announced, so how exactly does it work? Yeah, so we leverage our IBM Garage where we use the design thinking methodology and agile methodologies to support nonprofit organizations in ideating and creating solutions that they can deploy in local communities. We also provide them access to our weather data, our Watson AI, our cloud, and all other technologies and solutions that make sense for the deployment that they want to have in the community. And then we continue to support them over a course of two years. So this is a $2 million investment in each organization that we are partnering with. And when you take a step back and look at this situation as the world tries to tackle a problem as big as climate change, what kind of solution can technology play when it comes to addressing this issue? And how important is technology when it comes to actually dealing with this? Well, we believe that technology and science and innovation can really make a difference in communities. And an example is our work with the Nature Conservancy, where we are providing access to crop burning residue so that the local community and nonprofit organizations understand the data and they also can get access to new agricultural sustainability technologies and innovations to use instead. And another example is with Plan 21. We are working with the foundation to provide the environmental intelligence suite and access to weather data to increase their yield and their productivity. How can technology help to make food systems greener? We very much focus on the Sustainable Development Goal 2. And the focus is on how do we make sure that we can provide increased yield, more crops, more opportunity in the local communities. And this is a way that we could do that. So providing, again, access to our data, providing access to our expertise, we can help the nonprofit organizations and the smallholder farmers figure out how to, how to create a better yield for the community. And we also have a lot of um, technologies that provide trust and transparency around the supply chain and how we transport food, make sure that you know, we get it to the right place and it's, it's sustainable. The extra investment in technology and innovation will no doubt be good news for Aim for Climate's other partners, many of which have special expertise in supporting communities in developing countries. We spoke with Enoch Chakava from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, one of Aim for Climate's member organisations. A lot of the smallholder farmers depend on agriculture as a form of income. And when it becomes hotter and drier, it means the uh, seeds for crops or the livestock they are using today will not produce them as much as they should. Because they are now being affected by more heat, there's going to be uh, moisture, stress, so there's a lot of you know, innovations and tools needed in that environment. Then what is the best way to do that? You can work as a global program. And we support a consortia of 15 global research stations, the CG system. And they focus on all crops which are grown by all the smallholder farmers, like millet, like cassava, like groundnuts, all over the place. And these are the places where private sector may not be finding it profitable today. So that's where philanthropic dollars should go in order now to develop new innovations that will help you know, those farmers uh, in their more fragile states. The foundation's founders, Bill and Melinda Gates, might be synonymous with technology, but Enoch insists it'll take more to future-proof global food systems. Technology is going to be a major contributor, but there are no silver bullets in development. We are going to be requiring the right policies. You need to work with the governments. You need infrastructure. You need partners that will do the delivery and so on. That's why we work in, in terms of our own model. We are working with those partners who develop new innovations, but they need to be connected into the countries. You need to connect that to the private sector. 